All right, troops, Yoko and Uni presents. Physics. Right, Valdo here, back for more lecturising on physics. Today we're doing projectile motion, with the wee subtitle things that fight about in the air. It's very important for you to understand just how projectiles are flung through the air. So you can dodge the bricks that we rockets chuck out of the canal like you're doing at Clyde Bank. Before we get into more detail, you just have need to get your head around how things that move can be split into two separate bits. If I want to go from here to here, I need to move that way. What I can do also is move a bit along this way and then a bit up this way. If I want to go back from here to here, I go this way. Or a bit along and a bit down. Right, let's have a stick with this splitting motion into two bits, see how balls fire about. I should point out here though that physicists are actual heavy underprivileged in the artistic talent front, aka crappy drawing. So we have to stick to drawing balls instead of proper pictures. Here's a wee finger for you heavy mess your head first though. If I find a blue bar off a table, in a straight line, and at the very exact same time I drop a red bar off at the same height down. Which ball hits the ground first? Here you go, they hit at the same time. We saw that about man. Here's another ball. See, I tell you we loved them. You need to put a magic that's on top of a cliff or on top of a roof or something up high, right? Find it off in a straight line and you're gonna see a half parabola type hangy shape thing. What I've also done is show you the positions horizontally along the top every second and vertically every second gone down. You can pure see for yourself that along the top the distance is the same every second. This means that the ball's speed along that way is constant. Look at how it drops down the way. It's heavy getting wider, I mean it's getting faster. It's accelerating because of gravity, heavy pulling it down towards the centre of the earth. Gravity doesn't affect how it goes along the way though, only how it falls. But the buttons among you will now realise that the ball is actual heavy moving at an angle. Here's how it all works then, are you listening? Are you? Good. You better. Both things happen at the same time. All things that heavy move have both a bit that goes along the way and a bit that goes up and down. And it's only gravity that affects the bit that goes up and down, nothing else. <laughs> Right, there's a heavy famous physics experiment where some mad hunter went MWI, heavy shooting monkeys or something like that. The story goes that he aimed his gun at a monkey but the monkey was pure on the ball and thought, here we go, when that bullet leaves the gun, I'm heavy gonna let go of this branch. By the time the bullet reaches me, I'll be dropping to the ground and no get hit. The stupid monkey clearly didn't go to Yoka Uni to study physics though, did he? No. Probably did biology or something. Thing is though, why was the monkey so rang? He got shot anyway. There's heavy hunters of animations on the intertube explaining how it happens, but they're all pure what are doing for these animal right jakesters. Oh, you can't show a monkey getting shot. Oh, make it a ping pong ball gun or make it a doll monkey. Make the monkey drop a coconut, you can't hurt the monkey. I say pure silver burns to that man. Get a buff. So me, Smudge, Wee Deco, Rido and Giz heavy rallied up to Blair Drum in Safari Park with my laser sighted air rifle and a VHS camcorder that Rido tanned off his grandpa to recreate the experiment. Didn't go to plan though. Turns out monkeys don't exactly like getting videotaped, let alone shot at. Also, they didn't let go of the branch when they should have done. They just flung their jobbies and heavy terrorised us. It was like something out of platoon, man. Blood everywhere cause a chump heavy went to town on smudge, well give them a doing. Air pellets flying about, police choppers in the sky, getting chased by the RSPCA who can certainly be cruel to humans if they want to. I was mental man, you were not there, you were not there. Scrap that big chap. Let's recreate the experiment of him here in Yoker. No monkeys, no hunters, no sticking heat on the giraffe like we deco did. This is Fizzy's Glasgow style. This experiment is called Cat vs. Crossbow. 
You are going to need a high velocity crossbow. I recommend the force market for such purchases. Get next door neighbour's cat to heavy climb a tree. It might need a bit of encouragement first. My motivational tool of choice is Shiba, my Akita Japanese fighting dog, but feel free to use your own motivational tools. Right, here we go. Three, three, cat, crossbow, ara, aim. The cat's gonna let go of the branch when that is fired. To begin with, let's assume some jakey switched off the gravity on the earth. <laughs> when the cat lets go of the branch, it's not gonna fall. When that is fired, it will just go along the way with a constant speed of no 40 to the ground either. The arrow hits the cat square on the dome, one dead cat. Let's switch gravity back on then. Smudge is drawn a dotted line to heavy show you where the arrow is going to be every quarter of a second. This is at the start when it's not moving yet. After a quarter of a second, the arrow is going to be here. It's a quarter of the way along the way, but it's also dropped down a wee bit because gravity is pure accelerating it down towards the ground. But look at the wee cat. In the same time it's fell the exact same distance because gravity affects that in the same way too. The same thing happens at half a second and then at three quarters of a second. After one second the arrow has covered the distance but it's dropped a long way doing cosy gravity. But the cat has also fell doing the same distance cosy gravity. So it gets heavy hitting the heat with an arrow. Haha, <laughs> dead. Right, I'll do an lecture where I can be bothered on something called oblique projectiles. When you heavy fire something up at an angle, but just remember you use lot. Gravity accelerates something all the time by the same amount, whether it's getting faster coming down or slowing down going up. Catch you, Versace. Three, three, cat, crossbow, arrow, aim.